Hey everybody. Fatbird Finds here. I'm Mary Beth. And I'm Laura. And you guys let me know if we're coming through loud and clear. I've been having some Wi-Fi issues this week, so you guys let us know if we're coming through loud and clear. And in the meantime, let us know what you're drinking. Laura, what are we drinking? <laughs> so this is funny. <laughs> you know, we're usually drinking wine. Right. I don't think that we, we were going to try to pass this off as wine, but we can't really. So we were pre-tuning for tonight with our little pink drinks. Right. And they were so good. I couldn't quit drinking them. Right. So we poured them into our wine glasses. Yeah. Looks like we're coming through good. So okay, that's, that's, that's good. good. If we, if we start messing up, um, let us know and um, we'll switch. I'll try to do an, a different device or something. So let us know. Oh, Karen Redford says we're good on Facebook and Yay. YouTube. Thanks, Karen. Nice. So yeah, these are our wine glasses that we thrifted uh, this past weekend when we were out with our friends. Yep. Oh my gosh. What a great time. Wasn't that fun? We had a great time. We really did. You guys have probably already seen Misty's video this week mm -hmm. where we all got together. I wish everybody could have been there with us. Oh my gosh. It was so much fun. I loved it so much. Okay. We had lots of early birds all ready to go tonight. Yeah, we did. My mom is having Pepsi. Cindy's thrifting again is here. AJ's retro. Julie is here. And Sean hey, is here. <laughs> Margarita. Vitamin water and sweet tea. That nice. sounds good. Karen's got us on, uh, on her phone on the TV. That's nice. <laughs> nice. You guys suck. <laughs> we love you, Laura Bemos. Karen, my mom watches on the TV too. So hi, mom. <laughs> Hello, everyone. Hey, Laura Melendez. It was really fun. It was so much fun. Rachel, we we've really got to do it. We've got to, to do one close to where you are. It yes. was it was more fun even than I expected it to be. Yep, exactly. Hi, Cindy. How are you, Nate? Nate. What time is it, Nate? <laughs> Anchor and Pearl Treasures is here. Anchor and Pearl, I just saw that you subscribed to our channel. Thank you so much. Welcome. Welcome, welcome. Sandra is having some water. Ooh, raspberry iced tea. That sounds good. Good old RC. <laughs> There's nothing better than a good old RC. Can you even buy RC anymore? Sure. <laughs> Hi, Sandra. Fago. Fago. Orange pop. Nice. Love it. Laura, you're on the 55 TV. Oh, so no. So we're in like surround sound. They're oh. like... You know, I appreciate you watching, but man, <laughs> I don't think I want to see myself on a 55 inch. Nice, nice, nice. So people, it looks like y'all are really settling in and having a great evening. Somebody said they took a nap so they could party late tonight. That's good. You know, Jeffrey didn't have a sale tonight, so we didn't know how many might be here tonight, but we were, we're ready for whomever is here. Right. It's a holiday weekend. Yeah. So, you know, I understand. Hey, Alex. Welcome. Okay. Oh, so Alex. Hi. Alex yeah. is here. So don't go away, guys. If you have not seen on Instagram, we have a little bit of a debut tonight. We have a little bit of something different, something new that we haven't done before. It's exciting. You were teasing everybody I on was. Instagram. I was. I'm, I'm excited that you guys are all here. So we're going to do that here in about 10 minutes. We're going to kick that off. Awesome. It's really exciting. Yeah. So before we jump into the Fat Bird Five, mm -hmm. whatever that is, right? <laughs> right. Let's see what you've got over here. Laura's got a little uh, Goodwill haul. Yeah. That we're going to jump into. Okay. We're going to jump right in then. So let's let's show us an item, Laura. Okay. So. Ooh, that's cool. This is cool. I picked this out because I think you would like this. Mmm. What do you think? I do like it. I really think it it's supposed to look mid-century, but I think it, like, was made in the 80s. Okay. Yeah. Because, you know, it's not marked or anything on the bottom. But, Alex, look what a cute planter that would be. <laughs> that would be a big planter. <laughs> it would be big, but it's cute. Right? <laughs> you could have, like, a whole family of succulents in there. I know. It's it's like, I can't tell if these are meant to be, like, splatters or... Look, it, it meets some of your criteria. It's speckled. Speckled. That's Mary Beth says she looks for speckled things at the Goodwill. I do. That's what I look for. It's my criteria. Something that looks old, something that's like speckled, and something that has a sticker. It's so great. 
<laughs> you I, wish you wish you had criteria. I know. I do. <laughs> hey, I'm gonna turn my light on. Maybe that'll help. Oh, okay. Somebody says, Oh, Alex says she loves the glaze. I know, isn't that cool? It really does. It looks almost like one of those atomic patterns or something. And Thrifty, she says, I think it's fun. Oh, I don't know about that, Mary. <laughs> I think it's better. Okay. Is that better or worse? Well, I feel like at least now we're... I feel like I don't look as good, but <laughs> maybe the stuff shows better. So. I think I it's guess fine. that's the important part. Thrifty, is it Sam or Sandra? Uh, no. Right? Now I'm confused. Who's here for Thrifty tonight? That's we we get that question all the time too in the chats. <laughs> Is somebody, it Laura or Mary Beth? Somebody thinks the that the Fat Bird Five might be the white false graph. Oh, <laughs> not, we, not tonight. We had fun with the false graph. That's for sure. If you didn't see the false graph video, that's our video that we posted earlier this week on Tuesday. That's a it's a fun story. I think you meant Sam. Did you say Sam? I said Sam. But it's it's Sam and Sandra, I think. But Sandra's not sounding right to me. I think I'm saying it is wrong. Is it Sarah? Sarah. Yeah. Maybe that's it. Look at these little salt Thank and peppers. Thank you, Laura Bemos. Sam or Sarah. They're little quail. I don't know where Sandra came from. Aren't those are adorable. cute, and they're kind of big. Yeah, they are. For salt and pepper. So I think those are super cute. Yeah, so they're like the size of the palm of my hand. They're like the size of a baseball. They'd be cute anytime, but I mean, wouldn't they be cute like for Thanksgiving or something like that? Yeah. On a fall table. I love those. Well, one's got a little tiny, little bitty chip on his head, but I think there it is. But you can color it in. Oh yeah, it's hard to see with the ring light, but yeah, it's right there above that ring light. It's not. It's not super noticeable though. Those are adorable. I love quail. I think they're really cute. What else, what's everybody else doing? Oh, it's Sarah. Okay. Oh, vintage collectibles. I love the tablecloth that I got from you later. It's good. I'm so glad that, that it awesome. made it. Nice. Let's see. I love to ship. I love when you buy tablecloths because they're not going to break when we ship. I think, I think Rachel's at work. I think she's on break. Oh, gotcha. Karen says the fireworks are wild tonight. Yeah, here too. <laughs> it sounds like a war zone outside. Sometimes <laughs> we just like look at each other and we're like, Oh, it's just fireworks. My dog hates it. I started to say, Dixie doesn't seem too all that affected tonight. Yeah, usually she really, really hates it, but she hasn't been horrible today. Let's see. Yeah, they, Connie, Connie. My, my, it, it shifted right when I said that. Laura L Melinda says, those are fat birds. Oh, yeah. <laughs> they are. Gosh, how did we miss that? They're very round, aren't they? How did we miss that reference? <laughs> we are falling down on the job, Mary Beth. Uh-oh, look. What? Uh oh, Connie, Connie, Shh. <laughs> Connie, Connie's on to us. <laughs> Shh, it's a secret. It's 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 seven more minutes. <laughs> Can you go over the rules again, please? No rules yet. We'll let you know. Oh yeah, we're not selling anything at the moment. Not yet. <laughs> Shh. <laughs> Fat fluffy birds. Sorry, I am. Where was it? 102 degrees. Ooh. T.O.? What is that? Cheryl Ross. What's T.O.? Is that Toronto? Nah. What's T.O.? I don't know. <laughs> Do we have rules? You guys are ahead of the game. You guys. <laughs> okay, like, oh, simmer, simmer down. <laughs> Let me fix my little boo boo. Sam. Thank you so much. I'm so sorry. I hate when I get people's names wrong. So I shouldn't even, I, I want to try it, but I shouldn't try it when I'm not sure. I would just like to point this out. What? That I was right. Oh. <laughs> I have to get my kicks. Why is it T-O? Toronto. Oh, well, that doesn't make sense. Well, why is Kentucky K-Y? Well, but I mean, there was a period after the T. Like, it's Well, maybe it was an accident. <laughs> why are you angry? <laughs> Let's see, let's see, let's see. Yes, Cheryl, Toronto. Thank you. I'm not as dumb as you think. <laughs> Simadonna. I know. Nobody's Michelle at Mermaid Co. Dumb. You have been on several live streams lately, and I just absolutely love your sense of humor. I have <laughs> cracked up so much <laughs> at some of the things that you've said. I love it. Okay, what have you got there? Okay, so this is, by the way, this is just a haul. I don't think we're selling any of Selling any of this. We're just showing the, a haul. Yeah. But look at this. Okay, so 
I had this, so you guys know that George and Real Nifty Vintage and mm -hmm. Misty and Patrick all met up at George's sale. So much fun. We won't talk about that for the whole night, but anyway. So we were at my at Layman's at my mom's, and Guy had found this for me. Guy is Laura's aunt. Yeah. yeah. And she got to meet George. She was so excited. <laughs> she and my mom got to meet him. But anyway, so she had found me this. And so when I was packing it up with my stuff to take home, George grabbed it up and he was like, Oh my gosh, look at that. That's Blanco. Nate, you beat me. You got it. He did. Yeah. And look how pretty that is. It. It kind of looks like a butt. <laughs> it looks like a butt any way you turn it. It does. <laughs> but I just love that. Look at that texture on that glass. And, of course, I love the blue. I do, too. Laura Bemo says, do I have to behave tonight? You don't. No no children here that I know of. So you're, you're all good. My children are adults. My daughter, Katie, who's always in the chat, is in the house tonight. Hey, Katie. <laughs> so we're excited about that. <laughs> Laura so Bemo says it's a butt. Talk about it. <laughs> Chapter two vintage goes says you and butts. I, I mentioned something about I forgot exactly now what the joke was. Oh, it was a little. It was a cigarette. You, it was a cigarette ashtray. So you put your butts out in this little flap that opens up. You said butts. <laughs> <laughs> that was the joke. <laughs> oh my gosh, Laura! It's four minutes until nine fifteen. Four minutes. So let's show like one or two more things. Okay. So, 915 Fat Bird, five, uh, Fat Bird 5 is happening. So as you guys know, we show the cutesy kind of things, right? On flipping and sipping. Some some kind of good, some pretty good stuff, but kind of the more goodwill type finds, right? So this is nothing fancy, but I think it was cute because all of our owls oh, out there. Look at that. I thought, you know, those could kind of go together. Look, look how cute that mug is. Very cute. Isn't he cute? <laughs> and he was just in the little mug section at the Goodwill. That's a really cute cereal bowl. Yeah. <laughs> Misty's here. Hey, Misty. Welcome, Misty. Katie's here. Welcome, Katie. Hi, Katie. Yay. Yeah, those are adorable, Laura. I heard somebody say this. Super cute. I heard somebody. You I read in the comments that somebody said those are super cute. <laughs> I, I, I figure people would like that. I do like that. <coughs> it's always a good idea to pick up something that has like a certain animal or a certain design on there or something. We picked up um, a penguin mug at the Goodwill, sim pretty similar to this kind of. It had penguins all over it. And we put that up on eBay and it sold almost instantly. So uh -huh. those people that are out there looking for those certain things that you collect... They really often do really well on eBay. Yeah, that's my favorite kind of mugs to get. I'm a little tentative about any other kind of mugs, but I do like to get the mugs with the little animals and things on them. Let's show one more thing, and then we're going to roll out the Fat Bird 5. Yeah, Alex says, can't say super cute anymore. I'm guilty of that as well. <laughs> Alex's mom is like on her to use like different adjectives mm -hmm. <laughs> instead of... Super cute mug. What was it that Nikki told us that we couldn't say anymore? Vintagey. Vintagey. <laughs> I'm not allowed to say that anymore. I probably do still say it, but I'm not supposed to. I'm so guilty of that. Everything's super cute to me. Okay, what else do you want to see here? Let's see. Yeah, those frames are cute. Yeah. Hey, we sold something similar to these on eBay not long ago. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think ours were round. Yeah, they were. So these are those really cute Florentine... Italian composition pieces. They make everything in this. They make trays. They make tables even. Mm -hmm. they, and the little hanging pieces. And so you put that one up there so they would just be the whole set of three. I think those yeah. are super cute. Yeah. The, the ones that we just currently sold on eBay um, had the, the gold frames on the outside. And they were kind of painted like this on the inside. Mm -hmm. And I picked them up actually at a, a tag sale that we went to. And Laura was like, I don't know, we might hold on to those for a little while until they come, kind of come into style. And we put them up anyway. <laughs> and they sold. Yeah, what do I know? <laughs> I'm, I'm supposed to know things. Laura, it's 9.15. <gasps> it's 9.15.
Guys, it's 9.15. Okay, let's roll it out, shall we? Yeah, wait a minute. Whose mom is on here? Alex said hi to mom. Is it your mom, Alex? <sighs> Don't know. Okay. I missed it. Yeah, she says hi, mom. It must be <laughs> Alex's mom. Okay, here we go, guys. Let me get my graphic up here. This is exciting. It's time for <laughs> the Fat Bird 5. I wish that we had a drum roll. A sound chat. Yeah, that'd be maybe, good. Maybe you can work on that. I'll, I'll do what I can, Laura. <laughs> okay, so here's what Fat Bird 5 is, and it looks like a lot of you have already guessed. So, we have said this before to some of our friends that we don't have a ton of inventory like Misty and Alex do, right? Right. But we love the live sales, and we already have this time slot kind of, kind of established. Mm -hmm. So, we wanted to kind of just throw in five items during mm -hmm. each flipping and sipping that we're going to sell like right now. Yeah. And that's so much more manageable for us. Yeah. And in past flipping and sipping, you'll see in the comments, people say, can you just sell that now? <laughs> yeah. Why do we have to wait for yeah. some kind of sale? <laughs> we have experienced that. So we've got five items ready and we are going to sell those to you now. All right. Laura, do you have your list? I do. Are you prepared? I'm prepared. Which one do you want to do first? Okay, so here's the rules. Um, if you win an item, all you have to do is email us, fatbirdfinds at gmail.com. We are going to put up the item. We're going to show it to you. We're going to tell you how much it is. It's just like everybody else's sale. We'll give it a number. And the first person to come through on our end, we're looking on StreamYard. So the first person to come in, um, I will let you know that we have Facebook viewers as well as YouTube viewers tonight. So whoever comes in first on our end will be the winner. Just awesome. send us an email. Yeah. Five items. Five items. And then immediately following, the game playing will commence. We have a really good new game tonight. We do. It's super exciting. <laughs> I'm excited. Okay. Item number one. Does it matter? Mm, no. Okay. I'm ready. Item number one. We've got three bottles. One. So these came from last week's flipping and sipping. Right? Yes. We got we had some little box lots and I know you guys like all the little old bottles and everything. I love this blue one, Mary Beth. I, I like them all, actually. This one's got water droplets in there. I tried to clean it out just a little bit. Thank you. Mm -hmm. You got it? You got it? I do. <laughs> Here's the blue one. Okay, so you're getting all three bottles. Okay, all three bottles for $9. Okay, all three for $9, and it's number 31. Number 31. I didn't draw it out on anything. Okay. I could write it on my little paddle from our game. It's fine. <laughs> three glass bottles. This one is a milk jar, a milk bottle. All right. And then also... From that same time, we had a whole bunch of little tins and little bitty bottles. We do. Those are next. Yep. All right. So the first person that we had come through on our end, Laura Melendez. Hey, Laura. Thanks, Laura. Thanks, Laura. Laura's an old pro. You know how to do it. So okay. you can email us anytime. Next thing we've got is this little box of goodies. <laughs> Michelle. Hey, Michelle. Hi, Michelle. And Alex says they're super cute. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Alex, they're so vintagey. <laughs> they're so cute. They're super cute. Okay, so in this box, we have got um, spice containers. Yeah. Sorry, I forgot what I was talking about. All of the spice containers, there's four of them in here. One, two, three, four. They're all marked uh, 1977. So there's one. Here, I'll hold this and you can take them out. How's that? Two, three, four. Those are all marked 1977. Okay, there's a salt and pepper in here, these little tins. Those are cute. These are in kind of rough shape. I have not tried to get the lids off. They're a little rusted, but I think that gives them a lot of character. So those are salt and peppers that are in there as well. And then these are super These cute. are fun. I love these so much. <laughs> this one is a jar. It says St. Joseph's. St. Joseph. 
Nikki, what did we say this was? <laughs> aspirin. aspirin. It's an aspirin <laughs> bottle. Oh. St. Joseph. This one is just a little jar or a little bottle with measurements on the side. And this one's my favorite. This little medicine bottle. And it says one teaspoon for cough. Noon. And then it has a name at the bottom. I love that. I think that's adorable. I do too. I like all of those. The baby aspirin one is so cute. I like that the best, I think. Me too. Okay, so that's like all kinds of stuff. A whole box full of stuff. Mm -hmm. So all of that, you can get all of that for $10. $10. I think that's a bargain. I'm telling you. <laughs> $10 for the whole box and it's number 16. Number 16 for the box of goodies. <laughs> Michelle, you didn't uh, miss very much. You made it in record time. Yeah, we just kind of got started. <laughs> so number 16 on the little box of goodies. Okay, so the first person that I had come through on my end, Brooke. Brooke, you are the winner. Hey, Brooke. Congratulations. So all you have to do is send us an email, and we'll get that going for you. Hey, Brooke, I've seen your name and everything, but where are you from? Just put it in the comments. <laughs> okay, fat bird item number three. <laughs> well, that's not the number. No, this is the third item. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so this was one of my picks um, at the Goodwill that we talked about. <clears throat> it's a little speckled stoneware canister. I guess so. But Mary Beth, it's speckled. It's speckled. It has a sticker and it looks kind of old. It is all of Mary Beth's criteria. <laughs> it does have a mark, a sticker on the bottom. Um, yeah, there you go. It's Takahashi, which is Japanese and kind of modern Japanese, but super cute with a little transfer of flowers on there. A little transfer. It has a couple, it's, it's not really condition issues necessarily. There's a small little scuff right there. I'm not sure if that was manufacturer problem or not. It doesn't appear to be chipped. It's just a little rough. Oh, <clears throat> yeah. Vint Vintagerous Vintage says that that's Takahashi. So we got it right. Yay. So, yeah, that's really cute. Hey, welcome, Pamela Blanchard. Pamela, I did not know about your channel or your sales. So I was thrilled to uh, find your channel the other day. So I'm going to go back and catch up and watch some yes, of those. Yes, welcome. Okay, Laura. All right. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm falling down on the job. It is $10. Mm -hmm. And it's number 23. Number 23 for the little speckled jar. It's so cute. <laughs> it's super cute. It's super cute, Alex. <laughs> Very nice. Let's have a drink, Laura. All right. Yes. Let's have a drink. Click that. What does Alex say about your shirt? Oh, I don't know. So you're probably getting comments on your shirt again. <laughs> it's uh, it's just a St. Louis shirt. <laughs> it's hard to see. It's just my like, cardinal shirt. <laughs> okay, so the first person that I had come through, Julie. Julie and Chum. Hi, Julie. Thanks, Julie. Thanks, Julie. Just send us an email. You know the drill. Thanks so much. Okay, we got two things left. Two things left. Which one do you want to do last? This little glass thing? Mm -hmm. Okay, so let's do this one. Okay, so we showed this. Was that something? Yeah, we showed this last week. It came from Goodwill. Mm -hmm. And I didn't realize this. I don't see Stephanie. Are you here? Because I've I, seen Stephanie. I saw that Stephanie from Thrifting Adventures uh, collects these. Do you say Dar? Dar, <laughs> I believe. D A H E R. I think my Kentucky accent is killing me with this word. Yes, and it's marked 1971. So this is metal. I don't think you would say dare. I think it's Dar, D-A-H-E-R. Okay. All right. Yeah. So I know they're collectible. Every time we get a piece of this, Mary Beth, it sells way quicker than I thought. Me too. <laughs> we, we we've had some really cute ones. We sold a rectangular one of these, I mean, in just a day or two. Yeah. Yeah. So it's $12. I looked them up on eBay. We wanted to give you guys bargains. So I looked it up on eBay. They sell for about $19.99 probably. So I thought $12 would be a good price for that. $12. So $12, number 42. Number. It's, also, it's also very lightweight. It won't cost very much to ship. Yeah. Would you say number? 42. Number 42. Great. And it's like 
the size of my head. <laughs> Good job, Laura. Okay. And we've got, that means we've got. That means we've got one thing left. Yes. Just one. Okay. So the first pers person that I saw with 42 is Connie Connie. Connie Connie. Connie Connie knows the drill. Hi, Connie Connie. This is the last thing we have. Are you ready? I'm ready. This is so cute. That's my favorite piece from last week. Let me make sure I don't want the light to wash out the, the paint. I think we showed that in the video, not the flipping and sipping. Right. So it's just a little. That came from the auction, not the Goodwill. Right. Yeah. So that's D and, that's D and C. Yeah. D and C. Limoges. Limoges. So when they're marked D and C, you know that it's about, what did I say, 1910 or so? Yes. Because after that, they uh, changed the name. So. Let me show the bottom. And there's no no cracks. France. No chips. There is a little bit of worn paint. I don't know if you can see, like, the top. It's not chipped. It's just the paint has worn a little bit over the, over the years. But, man, I just love that. I love that powder blue um, color. I love the little hand-painted flowers. And this is a true antique these days. Yeah. Right? I just think that's so cute. About 100 years old on that one. Mm hmm Yes. So, but it can be yours for $15. $15. And it's number 28. 28. We had a lot of people in the comments that love that piece. Yeah, we did. On the video. <laughs> Number 28. We've had a special request. We have. And so maybe we could, maybe, maybe we should add one more item. What's the special request? <laughs> well, Michelle says, sell me an elephant so I'll feel better about tonight. Okay. Wait a minute. Does that <laughs> mean, no, but that means it's going to be the fat bird six. Oh. It doesn't, it doesn't have the same flow to it. Oh, that's true. That's okay. We'll make an exception for Michelle. Sandra Runyon. Is the winner. Yay, Sandra. I think that's where my Sandra came from when I was trying to say Sam and Sarah. Mm. I see Sandra's name a lot in the chat. So yeah. I think that's where that came up. You mean to go grab those coasters? The special request. Yes. Okay. From so, Michelle yeah. because. Sandra Runyon, send us an email with your information. <laughs> we do have something with an elephant. So maybe we'll put that up there. What do you think, Michelle? All right, everybody. This is fun. I Laura, like this. You're going to have to come Our up. Our game is fun. You're going to have to come up with a number and a price really oh, quick. Okay. I'll do it really quick. Really fast. You show them, okay? Okay. So here we've got these little. Let's, let's call. This is our. I don't know. No. Go it. ahead. No. You show it. Okay. So we've got these little, like, they're kind of boho. These little hand-painted coasters. <laughs> Mid-century wasted. Fat bird five and a bonus elephant. <laughs> A new tradition. That's, that's our great. That's our jam. Oh, let's do it. <laughs> no good to come up with elephants. I know, but we love the elephants. <laughs> that's great. Okay, so little coasters. There are five of them in here. They're all painted the same. So, Laura, this is some sort of stone or soapstone. It's not soapstone. I think it? it is soapstone. Oh, is it? And I think it may, be, may, it may have been Nate that told me that. Isn't that cute? <laughs> oh, Luke, I just saw that. He said we, we should have Katie show the bonus item. Oh, Katie. Katie, come say hi. You want to come wave, Katie? Come say hi, Katie. Oh, my God. And they, they come in this little holder. You guys are going to like this. Katie looks just like me. Hello, everyone. <laughs> Welcome, Katie. Hi. <laughs> so, yeah, five coasters, boho. Yep, it's the fat bird bonus with a little holder. So, Laura, I'm not prepared with a price or a number, so you're going to have to do that. Part. So, it's a bonus price. Yes. Let's do $8. $8. Number 51. 51 on the coasters. 51. In honor of our BFF, Michelle. <laughs> Cheers to Michelle. Cheers to Michelle. And her bonus and a bonus item. <laughs> okay, our coasters are going home with our pals over at Thrift You. 
Yay. Michelle, never fear. I'm going to find something and send it to you. Very nice. <laughs> okay, guys. So, you know, that was our little fun test of Fat Bird 5. I plus, liked it. Plus one bonus <laughs> elephant. <laughs> right? Yeah, I like how the very first time we do it, we didn't do five. We messed up our own <laughs> rules. Oh, my goodness. So, so that might seem kind of like piddly to you guys, but... For us, it's it's doable for us, and we have overwhelmed ourselves in the past couple of sales that we've done. So, <laughs> yeah, that was super fun. That's more our speed, and you know, it, it frees up some time that now we can continue our drinking and continue our gameplay. That's right, exactly. Here we go. Anybody ready for a game? So, thank you guys for indulging us in Fat Bird Five and our debut. And you know, next week, I think it's next week, guys. Correct me in the comments if I'm wrong. But I think next week is the big Christmas live sale week, right? Mm -hmm. So I think everybody's going to be including Christmas items in their live sale. Oh, that's right. Michelle, let us let us know. I think that's right. Is Misty and, Ale Misty and Alex, are you guys doing Christmas? Yeah, let or us just know. just a few Christmas? But anyway, we for sure can do five Christmas items. Yeah, we can sure. come up with five Christmas things. I don't know if we can come up with a Christmas elephant. <laughs> Bonus item? That'll be a challenge. I don't know if we can or not. <laughs> Alex is not me, so maybe maybe okay. I'm wrong. But I think some people are. Okay. Or maybe it's the next week. You know, guys, I, I can't remember. Oh, Misty says the 15th. Oh, okay. so, okay, we'll do, it, we'll do it that week or whatever. Okay, cool. Cool, 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 cool. Mary Beth, are you ready for a game? I'm ready. Okay, I think you're gonna like this. Laura, Laura called me earlier and she goes, "I've got, I've got the game for this week," and I, I was scared. I've never seen this game before. Like, I, I found it in the store, and like in a thrift store, dollar fifty nine. Great, great price. Okay, so and you guys can play along. Okay, and um, Mary Beth said she doesn't want to keep score, so we won't keep score. It's more fun if we don't keep score, right? <laughs> okay. So look, Mary Beth, we have these cool paddles. Are we going to beat each other with them? No. Do you want to be green or yellow? Yellow. Okay. <laughs> All right. And here's your pen. You got to have the pen, the special pen. You guys don't need what a pen. What is this called? Likewise. Yeah. Likewise. So what we're going to do, we'll do a sample one. Okay. Oh, wait. Pam says, is anybody joining in Nesting Havens Thriftmas in July? So yeah, that's an open collaboration. We are. We're planning on it. Mm -hmm. That'll be fun. So yeah, I think the idea is to just kind of showcase some items that you've thrift, some Christmas items that you've thrifted. And it's fun because it's in July. Oh, yeah. Awesome. Okay. So we have a descriptive word and a subject. Okay. okay. It's so an adjective and a noun. <laughs> okay. Thanks. <laughs> So Nikki got a kick out of that. So I'm going to show it and then you are going to write your answer. You're going to try to write what you think that I will say. Oh God. Okay. <laughs> but anyway, everybody's going to say, and we'll see who all matches. Yeah. You guys, say. Are, you guys are going to be about 10 seconds behind me. So it'll be funny because I won't be able to see your answers. And, and you know, you understand. Right. right. So the first one is, a cheesy thing at the beach. Pause. <laughs> is this literal cheese or no? Like, <laughs> no. So just a silly thing at the beach. Who has, except for Misty, who has cheese at the beach? Probably Misty. Who <laughs> doesn't have like Cheetos at the beach? <laughs> well, if that's what you want to put, you can put that. Okay. Okay. I'm going to go with a silly thing, like a cheesy, silly thing at the beach. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Okay, a cheesy thing at the beach. Okay. We need the Jeopardy music. Da, na, na, oh, this na, is... Na, 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 na. <laughs> oh, okay, I got it. Am I supposed to answer two, or are we just going to answer one at a time? You just answer this one. <laughs> <laughs> I'm supposed to guess what I think you're going to say? I think so. What would you think is Laura doesn't think things are cheesy. I think you should just I think you should just guess what okay. most most people are gonna say. Bye, Misty. I, Misty's leaving us, I think. Good Bye, night. Misty. Thanks for joining us. <laughs> Wait, I need to erase this. <laughs> You're 
you're taking a long time, Mary Beth. They're like all answering already, and we're lagging. <laughs> okay, I got it. Michelle says, I don't understand how to play. She's worried about it. <laughs> okay, I've got it. Okay. Do I show it? Yeah. Well, you didn't write anything. Well, I know. I'm okay, what's your answer? <laughs> you say it, and then I'll flip my thing around at the same time. Um, I don't have an answer. I'm going to answer the next one. Okay. You answer this one. I'm going to answer the next one. Oh, that's a good one. <laughs> I get a kick out of watching... They're laughing at me because I don't have an answer. I get a kick out of watching all the families like <laughs> trudge down to the beach and all their matching outfits. That's really good. And their photographer with their tripod. <laughs> and I've done it. I've been a part. I have been a part of the staged family photos. But they crack me up because everybody's wearing the same thing and then everybody jumps at the same time. That's really funny. It's funny. I think That's it's a good answer. I think it's hilarious. <laughs> See, I didn't have a good answer for that. Let's see what everybody else says. People are saying goodbye to Misty. Goodbye. Man thongs. <laughs> Banana hammocks. 1920 swimsuits. Misty says, I have cheese products on me at all times. Uh -huh. Nice. That's what I thought. Concession stand. <laughs> I don't understand how to play. <laughs> me either. <laughs> I think I read earlier that that uh, Alex calls her mom or something. That's where the mom thing came from. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Sweatpants. Mankini. <laughs> Socks and sandals. Speedo, Speedos. 1960 swimsuits. Banana hammock. <laughs> <laughs> Mankini, ooh. <laughs> Kylie Cat, how's your snake bite? Oh, God, I forgot about that. I know. That's terrible. Let's see. Hey, Benny. Benny. Benny's here. Vinny, Vinny, Vinny. Everybody's saying hi to Vinny. <laughs> He's not that cool. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> Cheryl says, Laura didn't read the rules. <laughs> oh. All right, let's go again. Wait, I'm reading the comments. Okay. I was joking. Alex calls me mom sometimes. Love it. Total joke. <laughs> okay, I'm ready. All right. Can we somebody go. turn this fan on? <laughs> it's hot in here. <laughs> What's that Lucy episode where she's just like, oh, sure is hot. And, oh, it's vitamin Benjamin. I started to say Vinny will know. Vinny's a big Lucy fan. I love Lucy. It sure is hot in here. <laughs> I don't like these. I'm like, I'm going through these. <laughs> okay. You ready? A friendly singer. A friendly singer. Okay. Thanks, Nikki. You're welcome. Like, just, just go with it. How do I know a friendly singer? <laughs> just go with it. Am I supposed to be guessing what you're going to say? No, I think we just all answer. We just all answer and see who matches who. A friendly singer. I don't know. We're still, we're still going back and forth about the mom. <laughs> Okay, I've got it. Okay, me too. I've got my answer. Okay. I'll go first since I didn't answer last time. Okay. I was unprepared last time. Are we going to flip them at the same time? Yeah. That'd be great. Okay. Go. One, two, three. Mr. Rogers? <laughs> well, he sings It's a Beautiful Day in the Neighborhood. That's friendly. <laughs> right? Okay, I guess so. I guess that's friendly. My John, John Denver? <laughs> Doesn't he seem friendly? No. You know, like Country Roads? He sings Country Roads. Mr. Rogers. He sings <laughs> at the beginning of every show. Well, I, he is friendly, but he's not a singer. He sings. Well, <laughs> Thrifty says, Barney. I almost wrote Barney the Dinosaur <laughs> on my paddle. <laughs> that's a good one. Wait, I have to, I have to oh, go back Oh, Debbie up. Boone. That's <gasps> a good one. What? Look. Oh, you matched somebody. Or my soul, like my spirit animal. Yes. See, everybody's going to make such good friends when they match. <laughs> I'm so, so awesome. awesome. And that's like the first answer. It's Mr. Rogers. Oh, nice. Vintageous, vintage glass in China. <laughs> <sighs> Love you and your name. I uh, know, right? Weird Al, that's funny. Carmen Miranda, Debbie Boone. Nobody's going to match me, are they? Barney the Dinosaur. 
Ricky Ricardo. That's funny. Dolly Parton, Johnny Cash. What happened to the rules? <laughs> you know, what or rules? what happened to us in general to bring, to get us at this point? That's a great question. Um, a lady, a smiling lady sitting in a singer one. A sewing machine. It's funny. Mary Manilow. Misty. <laughs> That's fun. Well, Mary Manilow. Manilow. Neil the Diamond. Cabana. Right? He's friendly. Vintageous. <gasps> Vintage China. Blacks in China. Yep. BFF. Mm-hmm. Hey, Aaron's here. Hey, Aaron. You're not too late because we just started the game and it's pretty fun. Okay. MB, take a drink. <laughs> I can't. I don't know. Oh, come on. You don't even know one. You light up my life. I don't know who that is. <laughs> Actually, she didn't really sing You Light Up My Life, but she was in the movie. Right, Michelle? Great. She had like a stand-in singer or something. Let's go again. Okay. I'm excited. This is fun. Okay. Laura, you picked a good game. Thanks. Okay, here we go. You ready? Yes. A lame sport. Okay. <laughs> a lame sport. Oh, God. No. Hopefully. <laughs> okay. Wait. What is the name of it? I can't think of what it's called. What is it called? Wait, we're going to say the same thing. Yeah. Shoot. I can't wait to hear what Nate says. I've this. got it. Wait, let me see. No. <laughs> I want to see what you put. No. I can't think. I can't think of what I want to put. Well, describe it. <sighs> Katie, come help me. Katie, come help me. Just write it down. <laughs> describe it. <laughs> sure is hot in here. <laughs> Okay, you show yours. <laughs> it's like <laughs> she's like writing a letter on her paddle. Because I can't think of the name of the thing. Okay, yeah, I'm ready. Oh, what does that say? <laughs> Olympic sport like shuffleboard on ice. It's curling. Ah. <laughs> Yay! That's fantastic. We matched. Oh, that's great. Golf. Golf. Football. Golf. Um, lacrosse. Soccer. I'm not a big soccer fan. Sure, personally. We got some more curling. Golf. Curling. Uh, Ellen. Golf. Baseball. Oh no, Laura Melendez. <laughs> Baseball's my fave. Golf. Curling. Bowling. Basketball. Lawn bowling, curling, none of you better. Was that Nate's lawn bowling? No, curling, curling, pickleball. Good one. Shuffleboard. What's pickleball? I don't know. Sounds great. <laughs> okay, you ready? Wait, badminton, oh. there's more. Oh. Uh-oh, cheerleading. You're going to start Ooh. start something <laughs> in the comments. Dodgeball. Was charo wrong? I don't know what that means. Curling, bowling, <laughs> polo. Polo. Nate. Any sport I play, dodgeball. How do you say that? Bocce? Bocce ball? Is mm -hmm. that how you say that? Cockfighting. True. <laughs> we won't put up with that. <laughs> Should I go on? <laughs> Tabletop bowling. Or bowling. Hey, did you ever, you remember um, lawn darts? Yes. How did somebody not like really hurt themselves? Well, that? funny you should say that. This is not a setup either. You don't know this story, but my dad actually injured someone with those. Are you serious? Yes. It was an accident, but he did. Ooh. Yes. Yeah, my dad had an old set of lawn darts. <laughs> I was not allowed to play with them, but croquet, <laughs> snake bite is completely healed. Good. Oh, look, I didn't even see that. Michelle said lawn darts, jarts. <laughs> That's cool. Lacrosse, darts, can't spell croquet. I can't either. <laughs> croquet is awesome, Rita. And we're starting another fight. A pie eating contest. Ping pong. Good night, Tina. You've probably already gone. I was kind of behind, but thanks for joining us. 
hot dog eating contest. You decided you wanted to decorate with croquet balls the other day. Yeah. When we saw them. Yeah, we were at um, an <laughs> antique mall and in this in this little booth that had a display with a bowl in the middle and it had croquet balls mm -hmm. set up in the middle of the table. It was so cute. It was such a good idea. Vinny says it's getting hot in here. <laughs> I know. We're going to start a, a war. Somebody says, this isn't Pictionary. <laughs> I wish it was Pictionary. I would kick <laughs> Laura's ass at some butt at mm. butt <laughs> Alex at Pictionary. <laughs> Does Mary Beth seriously not know John Denver? I actually do know that one. I was just giving her a hard time on John Denver. I do know that person. I don't know whoever that was that Michelle said Debbie Boone. I don't know who that person is. That was the truth. It's Pat Boone's daughter. Great. Vinny. Do you know <laughs> Vinny, do you know John John Denver? Vinny, if you can't name a John Denver song that you you have to drink too. <laughs> okay. Are we I, this is fun. Nikki, okay. we need more drinks. You're still working on that one. I'm just kidding. Are you kidding? Mm -mm. <laughs> Me either. I need one. Okay. I'm 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 tossing this one. Okay, hang on. Laura's cheating. Finish finish your drinks and I'll Fixing new ones. These are good. What's in here? Okay, this one's kind of cute. A fancy flower. I like to be fancy. I like anything that's fancy. Aren't are all flowers fancy? A fancy flower. Oops. Okay. <laughs> I know. Flower. I know what Luke's gonna say. A fancy flower. My pen's not very good. Don't cry about it. <laughs> I don't know. I'm not good at flowers. Oh, come on. Oh, come on. Mm, what are those? I don't know what they're oh, called. Oh, now you don't know what something's called. All right. Well, just describe it on your paddle like you made me do. <laughs> Oh, thanks. Thanks, Meg. Do you want to say hi to everybody? Say hi to Luke. Hi. <laughs> hi, Megan. Are you ready? Oh, you're going to draw it. <laughs> Aren't you cute? Okay. This I'm is horrible. I'm going to show my... Are you ready? What is that? Oh. I saw your answer. What does that look like? What does that look like? Lily of the Valley. It's like, it's it's kind of like the leaves on it. It's kind of like a tulip, you know, just yeah. little, little leaves like that, but it has little bitty white bell-like flowers all over it. No, that's not what I was going to say. Mine was like a lily, but it's, I don't know. I'm bad. I'm so bad at flowers. Also, if you have a five-star island on Animal Crossing... You get a lily of the valley, but only wow. if you have a five star island. So it's fancy. I don't know what that means. <laughs> Orchids, peony. That's hard for me to say. Calla lily, orchid, rose, rose you know, iris. You know, some people in the deep south, Pamela Blanchard, you might know this. Did Pamela, do you guys say peony? <laughs> I've never heard of it. Peony. Some people say it like that. I thought it was peony. It is, but some people say it like that. Tiger lily. Orchid, orchid, orchid. Lots of orchids. Oh, yeah. Orchids are fancy. It's an honor of you. <laughs> Hydrangea, calla lily. Tulips. I would probably, I'm going to say tulip. I love tulips. If that's my favorite flower. That's my answer. That's what I would say. All right. What are, are those, what are those flowers that you liked? I planted them out here one, one year and they got really out of control. Lantanas. Lantanas. Those are pretty too. They're not very fancy. No, but they're pretty. Mm -hmm. They really like, I say it like peony. See, I told you. <laughs> she said it like that. Oh, look, Pamela says peony. Yeah. How about that? I didn't know. I knew she would. <laughs> Fun. Large, what does that mean? Clematis. I don't know that flower. I'm so bad at them because I'm bad at keeping flowers you, alive, first of all. Clematis, you have to like make them grow up like on a trellis and like I just have one out in front of my house. Great. Yeah. Okay. You ready? Yes. Here we go. <laughs> I'm not doing that one. You can't just pick and choose. That one's too easy. 
Oh, Nate says that Lantana is a weed here. They are kind of oh. weed-like. They got super out of control for sure. <laughs> yeah, it's true. <laughs> okay. A goofy pet peeve. A goofy pet peeve. And see, this game is cool because we can shuffle up the cards and next mm -hmm. time and do it different. That'd be good. Mm -hmm. Okay. So first, I have to think about what my pet peeves are. Somebody said love lantana around our house. Oh, the lantana are so cool. They, all the butterflies like them. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Let me know if you can hear that fan. <laughs> Megan just made the fan above <laughs> me go really, really fast. I bet you can't. Let me know if you can hear it, because if you can, I'm going to turn it down a little bit. Okay, a goofy pet peeve. Okay. Boy, it's hot in here. Somebody's. <laughs> it sure is hot in here. Why are they saying that? I don't know. Kara Heather says, what game are you playing? We're playing. This is called Likewise. Yes, so we're trying to come up with. I had never seen that game before. A goofy pet peeve. So you, what is a goofy pet peeve? Ah, oh, Megan, this pen is much better. Oh, good. <laughs> okay. Mmm. I love, I love reading some of these. This is so great. Ah, oh. I don't like misuse of apost like apostrophes. <laughs> oh, it bothers me. That's cute. I grew up with an English teacher, so she used to yell at me. So you don't. You also probably don't like there and there. Correct. Oh my gosh, yeah, let's write that on. When there. people misuse there and there. <laughs> yeah, I can't take it. I guess because I was yelled about it, yelled at about it all the time. So, yeah. Okay, let's keep Wait, going. Wait, we didn't, oh. we didn't read. Okay. Crinkling plastic. Wait. <laughs> Loud chewing. Okay. Wearing socks to bed. Oh my God, there's a lot. Okay. Wearing socks to bed. Loud eating. Loud chewing. Yes. What game are you playing? We don't know. <laughs> Look, Kira's <laughs> flower looks like you, what you tried to draw. Using super cute as an adjective. <laughs> that's great. You know that's Alex's mom, right? Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah. That's fantastic. <laughs> I hate that my husband puts the toothpaste on the right side. Mm. Interesting. Not changing the toilet paper roll. I can't stand that either. People who don't take the temporary stitching off the back of a coat or blazer. <laughs> that happens to me a lot at work. I'll see these men like walking around and they haven't unstitched. And I'm like, what are you doing? I don't think they know. Yes. Yes. I agree. Over or under. Mine is always over. I think you always change it whenever I put it on there. Great. Hey, Nicole is here. Hi, Nicole. Your toaster has to make a character on your toast. <laughs> I don't understand. <laughs> I think I missed out on a conversation that was happening. <coughs> People trying to go ahead of me. Yes. Oh, my gosh. I hate that. Over or under, crinkling plastic. <laughs> People put their year sticker on the corner of their license plate. <laughs> I just did that the other day. I changed mine out because it was my birthday and I put it on the wrong car. Yeah. <laughs> I, I've noticed it immediately, but I did put it on <laughs> the wrong car. When the hubs misses the toilet. <laughs> that's not good. Ah, that's Chomping funny. food, popping gum. <laughs> yes. My friends always used to pop their gum. I was never able, I never knew how to do that. But yeah, it got them on earth. Yeah, that's what I said. I said smacking your gum. My turtle waking me up in the morning by climbing onto my bed. Oh my god. How does your turtle do that? <laughs> oh my god. What kind of turtle is that? Is it a ninja turtle? <laughs> <laughs> Wearing socks with sandals. Smacking your lips when you eat. 
Yes, you guys are so good. Let's do another one. Okay. This is fun, Laura. All right. Hey, I'm, I'm glad when you like what I do. I didn't know you could be so much fun. <laughs> okay, here we go. You ready? An awful thing in the ocean. An awful thing in the ocean. Mm -hmm. Nate says if he came to your place, he would change it to under. <laughs> What do I do? I do over. I don't know what you do. <laughs> I feel like we do the opposite thing, but I feel like I do over. Mine goes over. Hmm. Hmm. You figure you already got an answer for this? I yeah. think this one's hard. No, it's easy. It's an easy answer. <laughs> I should steal that. Come on, Laura. Okay. Sure is hot in here. <laughs> okay. Okay. Ready? Yeah. One, two, three. Garbage. You said a giant octopus. <laughs> Isn't that original? <laughs> That's fantastic. Oh. Okay, Miss Sticky and Takes Plastic. Octopus. Hey, you're not alone. Yay. Rita. A shark. Thanks, Rita. Jellyfish. I needed that. Michelle. Oh. <laughs> that would be <laughs> horrible. <laughs> Michelle. Trash. Bottom feeder. Stingray. Seaweed. Garbage. Garbage. Erin. <laughs> Stingray. Slimy stuff. Jellyfish. Seaweed. Ick. Garbage. Jellyfish. I was saying some of us. <laughs> okay, I'm shifted again. Plastic. Warm spot. Ooh, I agree. I don't like warm spots. That freaks me out. <laughs> plastic. Plastic waste. Jellyfish. Litter. Plastic. LOL at Cheryl. Jellyfish. Thank goodness. We have some, like, environmentally conscious people out there. Fish poop. Trash and plastic, the unknown. <laughs> Mystic Antiques. Nice. Nice answer. Mystic Antiques just went there. An eel. Portuguese man of war. I don't know what that means, but it sounds awful. <laughs> it's like a, is it like a jellyfish? Like a, or maybe a stingray? King size comforter on a full size bed. He has, he is a red eared slider with long claws. He figured, out that he can pull up in the water. Oh, me. I would be scared <laughs> if there was a turtle. Oh, she's answering you about yeah. the turtle. Yeah. <laughs> Sand and bathing suit. Okay. All right. Good job, everybody. Do you want to show anything else in your in your haul? So why don't we show like okay. two or three more things in your haul basket? Okay. We're almost at an hour. Okay. So normally we go about an hour and 15 minutes. So let's show like a few more things out of your haul. Okay. Then we'll finish up with like three or four more games. Okay. And then we'll say goodnight and happy 4th of July to everybody. Oh, I'm going to show you guys this. Mary Beth, we're going to introduce, I'm going to introduce you to this. One of these days I'm going to get the nerve to do one of these little jewelry unboxings. Like okay. some of our people do that comment on our videos and okay. that we watch their videos. So, but look, so look, you can hardly find them anymore, but I found a jewelry jar. That's what they used to call them. They used to come in jars. Now then, they just do them in bags, pretty much. Okay. But I found one for $12.99. Now then, when you find the big vases, you know, they want like $30 for them or something like that, and they don't last very long at the Goodwill. So let me ask you a question for somebody who doesn't go to the Goodwill very often. Did somebody donate this whole lot of stuff, or do they just collect jewelry and do they bag it together themselves? I think they just they just collect it all up and toss it in a bag and sell it that way. Okay. Yep. So. <laughs> she I know, it. right? At least you can get a cute jar out of it, right? I mean, they're selling those jars anyway, right? Yeah, I agree. Like, come on. <laughs> So the rule is you have to like look in here 
and find something that you think might bring $12.99 mm -hmm. in order to buy it. Okay. So I saw a couple of cute things in there. I don't know. Can you 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 do better showing it? Can you hold it up? Do you want like, me to just open it? No. No, that's the fun of it. Yeah, if we're gonna do a video, you can't open it first. Okay. <laughs> Mine but see, like, show those little things. Yeah. Those beads, these uh -huh. green and... So those look kind of interesting. Does anybody see anything in there that might bring some money? <laughs> <laughs> it's hard to see. I don't think... I don't think Yvonne is on here tonight. I haven't seen Yvonne. But she and I talked about it because she wants to do jewelry, too, but she's she hasn't done a whole lot of jewelry unboxing. Mm -hmm. So we thought we might, like, be beginner jewelry unboxers. And get one of the girls that does it all the time. That's a that's a friend of her channel. Yeah. To be on there with us that's and tell and tell us what to do and tell us what we have. That's a fun idea. There is a watch in there. You can just see the back of it. That blue band. It's hard to tell exactly <laughs> what that is. Somebody said, "Open it." <laughs> oh, no, we can't open it. Oh, Laura is such a stick in the mud. Show but something else. Maybe on a different video. Oh, look here. Cut look. it open. <laughs> Open it. It's <laughs> so funny. Okay. We'll do that next time. Hey, how about on our next flipping and sipping, we open it? Do you want to? Do you, would you guys like that? I don't know. Maybe you don't like jewelry, but it looks like it though, right? Let's try it out. Okay. I'm going to show these real quick, but I think Katie's already claimed these. Yeah, Katie wants to go home with these. But aren't those cute? They're just like the... Are they all the same? Yeah. They're all the same. So there's like what? Five of them. They're better homes and garden, and they're those melamine dishwasher safe, awesome plates that you can use every day. <laughs> Look, tease. <laughs> open, open, open. <laughs> now I want to know what's in it. Come uh, back next week, and yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll open it. We're gonna do it next week. And I promise the tape will still be on there. We won't have opened it. Yeah, I think those are really cute. Speaking of these kind of plates, my kids have always loved to eat on these kind mm -hmm. of plates. This, Me too, personally. So you guys know how they have, uh, McDonald's used to have the Disney ones. Mm -hmm. So we always had the Hercules ones. Yeah. Well, Patrick did, found some. So when he came to see us, one of the things he was telling us is he found Hercules plates. And I was like, no way, I have some of those. And he goes, well, you better save them because they're worth like $70. They sell by the set on eBay for like 70 bucks. I wow. said, man, I should have asked for those in the divorce settlement. <laughs> <laughs> I think they're at the other house. LOL. <laughs> My kids love to eat off them. They won't let me sell them anyway. That's funny. <laughs> but yeah, I, I, I like, I've got a set of like plasticky plates kind of like this yeah. that I eat off of all the time. I love those. And then, should we show one more thing? Yeah. Okay. I think we've got some time. We're just, we're just two minutes over an hour. I think we're good. We've still got several people on. Okay. Mary Beth, I don't think you're going to like this, but I think they will. So you guys tell Mary Beth whether you like this or not and you think it'll sell. Look at this. Luke says, this is Katie's husband. That explains why we, explains why we eat on those kinds of plates nearly every day. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Katie, we or Luke, we miss you. We wish you could have come too. Erin said she saw Patrick talking about that. Wait, well, who said? I'm, I'm reading comments. I, I'm, I'm missing out. It's on okay. The conversations. Did you um, want me to? Did you want me to throw something up there? No, because I don't remember. Oh yeah, what is? What did she say? What did Laura say? Oh yeah, that's because Laura and I have the same name. So yeah. she's like, whoa, Laura. <laughs> I do that all the time when we're in a thrift store together, <laughs> and she's somewhere else. I'm like, Laura, Laura. <laughs> I oh, just, she'll whisper really loud. Ah, ah. <laughs> like everybody hears. This is cute. Look how cute that is. Oh. I mean, it's not one of the fancy ones. Like, uh, what is this? Like designer ones, but they're just little. It's just like a little purse. Is it? <laughs> yes. Do people carry this around really as a purse? Well, they used to. Really? Mm-hmm. Somebody, somebody did an okay job on that one, but it's just pretty cute. I yeah. Think. Hold on, I'm trying to. A lot of times they have jewels on them, glued on there. Oh yeah, this you remember one is... we saw one at George's. It was like an Enid Collins one. This is by Carl Non or something. What does that mean? I think they just signed it. I think they just like painted it and put their little cute. Alex says sewing box, mm. and so does Anchor and Pearl Treasure sewing basket. Maybe. And I'm trying not to. 
leave you guys out if you said that as well. <laughs> Vintage and vinyl sewing basket. Sewing basket. Awesome. So it's not a purse. But it's cute. It is very cute. I like the I like the paint on the paint job on the top. Is it because it doesn't have a latch? What are the I mean they have, they make little purses like that too that had had the latch on there. I thought it was a sewing basket, sewing basket. I like that they're calling you out. <laughs> they really are. <laughs> Mystique antiques, it could be a picnic basket. <laughs> It's my favorite thing in the world that you guys are calling her out. I love it. Yeah, well, at least, you know, they've helped me out now. I certainly don't know. Now, now I can call it a sewing basket when we sell it. I do see one really cool thing in there that you haven't shown yet. Are you saving that for last? <laughs> yes. Not too much like that. I love this. I love this. Let me back up. <laughs> Look at that. Isn't that great? So there's the base of it. You love a tall vase. I do. It's not. I don't think it's old. No, it's, it's not. It's it has like, like the sticker. It has it. the price tag. But I knew you would like that. I love that. I think that's really cool. Mm -hmm. I love things like this. Oh, Teresa agrees with you. It's a purse. Ah. And Karen says it's whatever you want it to be. <laughs> it's a great Thanks, answer. Thanks, Karen. That's a wonderful answer. <laughs> Yeah, I love I love these tall vases like this. And even though this one's not exactly vintage, um, I think it's still really nice. And it's a really pretty color. Mm -hmm. It's like a teal blue up here, and it goes down to like a really dark, almost black at the bottom. Very nice. <laughs> Good job, Laura. Yeah. I like that. Cool. Hey, hey. Alex wants to know. Where'd you put your circus at? It's up there on a shelf. I'll I'll take a picture of it. I'll uh, Marco Polo you later and send you a picture of it. I've got it up here on a shelf next to this big circus poster. Now you need to show it. Well, I can't. I, I would have to pick my computer. Well, then I'll just go get the hat. And oh show yeah, it. you can grab the hat. Okay. I can't really pick up my computer and show it on the shelf though. Yeah, Alex sent me this really cool. Uh, <laughs> she knocked over a juggling pin. <laughs> Um, I, I collect vintage circus posters and prints, and Alex sent me this really cool Ringling Brothers. It says Ringling Brothers. This little hat, and I've got it up there on my shelf next to one of my circus prints. I love it so much. Thank you so much, Alex. That's so cute. I love that. But don't forget to send her a picture because yeah, it's well, cute where it's at. I will, definitely. Let me knock over this other one. Yeah, that's fine. They're wood. It won't hurt them. Okay. We've got a couple more things. Cheryl says, why the heck does my name come up highlighted in red? Anyone know? I don't know. Hmm. Maybe you're special, Cheryl. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know either. Tiger King. <laughs> yeah, that's funny. <laughs> You've got one more thing? Oh, look. It's this little bunny. Oh. <laughs> You love a little bunny. He's albino. His eyes are red. <laughs> He's so cute. And it's Gil Pittman. Oh, yeah. So that is kind of a collectible pottery. Mm -hmm. I think it was sold kind of in the 80s a lot. It was pretty popular. Right. I don't think she still makes it, does she, you guys? She's still doing pottery and stuff? I certainly don't know. But I think that's cute. Cher Fine says, I don't see it in red. No, it's it's not really. It's kind of like a, almost a mauve, right? What color would you call that? It's like a really dark. Yes. Pink? Dark pink. It's not <laughs> very light. It's pretty dark. There you go. Gil Pittman Studio was right by my first job. Oh, that's cool. We've sold a couple of pieces. Who said that? I didn't see it. Oh, I see now. Cool. And yeah, and then she says right down there, she moved her pottery to China. Really? I didn't know that. Oh, Katie says, um, whoever asked that earlier, why does your name show up in red? It's because somebody has um, responded, to, like has written a message to you. Oh, that's right. So they, they're like adding you and yeah. and writing you a message. So that's why. I forgot Thanks, that, Katie. Yeah, I forget that that happened. Yeah, I wasn't red. even thinking about that. She's talking about the highlight. Yes, talking about the highlight. Thanks, Michelle. I was behind on that one. I guess I've had okay. too many sips out of my drink. <laughs> 
So look, we found some I Vera. thought that was the last one. Well, we found some Vera Bradley. Vera Bradley. What is that? I think that's for a tablet. I think that one's for a tablet. Yes. And this, this is just a cute little purse. Mm -hmm. Everybody's seen those kind of things. And then you'll like this one. You remember that um, canister that we showed on the video that you like so much, the Asian looking one? Yes. You said it was a tea canister. Yes. We talked about that. Mm -hmm. This is sort of like that. So it's sort of the same kind of design and everything. Oh. Isn't that cute? I love that. Hey, and it's got a very, very similar mark on the back. Like the the tea, whatever that is, tea canister, whatever that was. It's got a very similar mark. I think that's pretty. It's It would be... Um, I'm going to grab it so everybody can see what I'm talking about. Oh, okay. She's going to go get it. We can see you when you go do that. Hi. <laughs> Yeah, so I think that's pretty. It probably had other pieces. It might have been a little tea set or something like that. But it would be cute. It would be cute just like a little dresser tray or just anywhere. Yeah, so here's the canister. It's very similar. Yeah. Bye, Nate. Bye, Nate. Thanks for joining us. It's got a very similar mark on the Bye, bottom. Bye, Laura Melendez. Thanks for your purchase. We'll get it in the mail to you. Hold on. I'll be right back. Okay. Where are you going? You're I leaving me. Store. I think we need to do I think we need to do one or two more rounds of the game. Okay. <laughs> Sounds good to me. Okay. Let's do it. Laura's disappointed in us. You guys have one job. What was it? What was our one job? To drink? What did we miss? We we flipped and we sipped and we did our Fat Bird Five. We've had lots of jobs, Laura Beamos. How about this? Why is she fighting us? <laughs> <laughs> How about fighting? this? A girly thing in the fridge. What? A girly thing in the fridge? Okay, I got it. I've got it. Okay. If you hear gunshots, it's not. It's fireworks. <laughs> We're okay. Everything's going to be okay. I've got it. Okay. Ready? Mm-hmm. One, two, three. <laughs> white claws. <laughs> That's really good. I keep white claws in the fridge for guests. I don't like them personally. Ah, oh, pink drink. <laughs> <laughs> What's a pink drink? I don't. It, a pink drink, just like from like Starbucks. This. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> wait. <pretty> wait. Bad. <laughs> spike treats. What's that mean? What is spike treats? Laura, I don't understand. <laughs> Get us drunk. <laughs> I can't. I. You gotta do that for yourself. I can't help you. I got here I'm late. Out of drink. Are these things you bought at George's? Um, no. No, we're going to do that separate. Yes. So on Tuesday, we're going to have a video out, um, and we're going to show the things that we bought at George's sale. So you haven't missed that. We just haven't done it yet. So we only do like one edited video a week, and we do those on Tuesdays. And so we had already had a video scheduled for this past Tuesday. So our next video will be George's sale, and that will be on this Tuesday. Yeah, we'll show our footage from there, I guess, and then do the haul at the end. Yeah, exactly. Eye mask. Oh, that's a Face good one. Mask, eye mask. You guys are good. Nail polish in the fridge. <laughs> Is that a thing? I don't know. I've never put my nail polish in the fridge. Face cream a or my bra, bra in the fridge. <laughs> really? Activia, iced coffee, soy milk, Vinny, uh, a cucumber. Vinny. Ice cream in the freezer section. Benny, take another drink. South Beach. You have to take a drink for that. <laughs> South Beach diet meals. That's funny. I think everybody is like making that face at Benny. <laughs> LOL. Benny, you're on tonight. Hold on. Chocolate cream or whipped cream. Spike treats at 10 a.m. I don't know what that means. It's going over my head. Do you know what that no, means? No. Don't. Do you guys know what that means? No. What? Spike treats. White Claws. That's what I said. Hey. 
<laughs> Coca-Cola. Is that girly? Black bamboo seeds. I don't know what that is. Mm -mm. Vintageous vintage glass in China. What are white claws? Okay. I would <laughs> I would equate white claws to the Boone's farm of my generation. <laughs> That's a pretty good description. So, yeah, they're not. So, Katie, they're like not. They don't have many calories, right? So, they don't have very many calories. It's like carbonated water. It's gross. But they're flavored. And you, alcoholic. And alcoholic. You're not missing anything. I don't like them personally, but they just like taste like flavored carbonation to me. Mm -hmm. They're not my jam. I'd rather have a bottle of Boone's Farm. <laughs> I really kind of think that you need a sorority sweatshirt. Sure, all, Spikes treats is your job. To I'm enjoy one of those. Y'all, it's going over my head. I don't understand. I'm sorry. I'm, I feel like I'm missing. <laughs> Her cat is Spike. Ah, gotcha. <laughs> you better remove that crap when I come, Mary Beth. We'll have the hard <laughs> stuff for you, Michelle. Just let me know when you're coming. We'll make you one of these. These are good. Face creams, lipstick in the fridge. Mm. What do y'all do? Am, am I supposed to be putting my stuff? Yeah. Did you know that, that now then that the kids, they like have little mini fridges in their rooms and they put their makeup in there? I don't know. <laughs> Thrift you. Please stay ornery. It cracks me up. <laughs> I'm always ornery. What are white claws? I, tr I think I explained. Yeah. I don't know. Keep the girls cool with your bra. That's fantastic. <laughs> That's hot great. in Florida. <laughs> Maybe we should try Maybe that. we should. That's a great, great tip. Cat treats. <sighs> I'm going to go back and read all of these comments. I feel like I'm out of context. Okay. Let's, let's do one more. Okay. Okay. You ready? I know we've missed a few. We have. We're not perfect. Okay. Laura. <laughs> Great. Man, you're really like on my case tonight. I love you, Laura. You're my favorite. <laughs> you're going to like this one. This is good for you. I'm ready. A mysterious thing at a circus. Ooh. A mysterious thing at a circus. Well, yeah. Isn't everything at a circus mysterious? Sure. I can't answer this one. I don't have an answer for this one. I'm going to say you the know. magicians. Oh. Yeah. But like not just the magicians, but like the mystic magicians with their crystal balls and their stuff like the sideshows. Right? <laughs> right. Yeah. There is a circus print that I want. It's a hatch show print. Sorry, the ice maker is happening. <laughs> <laughs> There's a Hatch show print, H-A-T-C-H, Hatch show. Um, they're in um, in Nashville. Those are the prints that I collect. And it's Marquis, the magician. And it, he looks very mystic with his beard and everything. I really want that print. That's cool. It's cool. So, yeah, I would say the magicians. I am, I am a sucker for a, a good magician. Who is that guy that I like so much, Megan? David Blaine. David Blaine. He freaks me out. I can't even stand it. I just sit there like this the whole entire time. How can he do that stuff? I don't know. I love a good magic show. Me too. We, when we went to um, Las Vegas, we went to see Penn and Teller. Oh, yeah. They were good. That we met fun. them. We met them afterward. We got their autograph. It was really cool. It was so much fun. Did the one the one that never talks, he talked, didn't he? Yeah, Teller. Oh, we met him. <laughs> yeah, he actually does speak, believe it or not. All right, the bearded lady, freak show, creepy clown. I've got a print up here that says freak show. <laughs> bearded lady, I love American Horror Story also. Yes. Alex has a shirt that says I'm the next Supreme. I'm jealous of that shirt. I couldn't believe it, Alex, when we saw you in that shirt. <laughs> because whenever she has to make up a name for anything, it's Supreme. She's it the is. Supreme. That's like my screen name, like when I play <laughs> games on my Nintendo, on my Switch. The Thanks, clown Jackie. car. What's under the tall man's pants? I don't know. <laughs> what is under there? Three weeks ago, you told Spike it was time for treats. Now he, he expects it. We're going to send Laura Bemos a gift. 
<laughs> Laura Bemos, email us your address and we're going to send you something fun. It's going to be great. Hey, we, we already have her address because she bought from us in a live sale. There you go. Never mind. We're going to send it to you anyway. The carnies. Oh, I know. Beware the carnies at the carnivals. Two headed snake. Isn't the whole damn thing mysterious? That's what I'm saying. Yes. Why is Misty taking a selfie with a clown? That would be really weird. <laughs> Find your peas act. Fortune teller. 12 clowns coming out of a car. Acrobatic people. The thing behind the curtain. <laughs> Tightrope. Yes, they're saying lipstick and any kind of makeup or, makes makeup or, oh my God, makeup <laughs> or creams should be kept cool. The oils can go off. Yeah. I didn't know that. See, so now you know. Now I know. You guys are the best. Everything. Oh, it's the ice maker. Yeah, I bet that was loud. <laughs> what did they say about David Blaine? David Blaine is a close talker. <laughs> what does that mean? I don't know what that means. Someone who gets in your personal space and talks. Oh. <laughs> Somebody who gets like right up in your business. <laughs> <laughs> the bearded lady. Um, Very saucy. It's a great. Oh, they're talking to Vinny. Season three is the best. Oh. Yes. I like season three. Which one's three's freak show? Three is Coven. Oh, three's Coven. Yeah. Yeah, I like Coven. Yeah. I can't watch Asylum. <laughs> I can't do it. <laughs> I agree. I like three. I think two is my favorite. I think Asylum is my favorite. Personally. Great. Contortionist. Oh, yeah. Hey, we saw a uh, Cirque. I can't say it. Cirque Day, whatever Cirque it is. Cirque du Soleil. Yeah, I can't say that at all. It was like a miniature version of that came to Paducah to our um, performing arts center and there was a contortionist and it was just, I can't even, <laughs> I can't even deal with that. I can barely touch my toes. What did she say? Her favorite's coming. Who said? Um, Alice. Where? It's farther down. Oh, how do you read that? If it's so much farther down. Oh, look at Stephanie. Stephanie's here. Hi, Stephanie. Welcome. The bearded lady ain't a mystery. Stephanie, we missed you. I was talking about the fact that you collect dar trays. Mm -hmm. D-A-H-E-R. I've had a couple of sips too many to be able to say that word. Okay, we're going to do one more card. Okay. One more card and then we're going to say goodbye because we like you guys so much. <laughs> I'm sorry. I just read something else that was funny. Laura, just wait. <laughs> yeah, don't read that. <laughs> I don't know that one. Laura just wants you to say out loud, spike treat time. <laughs> I said it. I said it out loud. Spike treat time. Spike treat time. That sounds fun. I think I shouldn't have said that out loud, but I did. How about a manly thing on a farm? A manly thing on a farm. Gosh, did you, isn't everything manly on a farm? I wish George was on here. Did you discuss George's live uh, video? Was that last night? I've got yes. all my days mixed up. He had a shirt on. It was a farm all shirt. And it said, tough runs in the family. <laughs> and I called him out. I was like, George, do you have on a farm all shirt? Are you serious? Did he really? He did. That is great. He laughed at me because I grew up on a farm personally. And uh, he laughed. He was like, yeah. And then Zeno said something about his shirt. And he was like, tough, fr tough <laughs> runs in the family, LOL. <laughs> It was hilarious. That is funny. It was great. George and Zeno were so much fun. Okay. What was it? A manly thing on the farm? Yes. A manly thing on the farm. So manly. I don't know. I don't know either. That's really a bad one. Manly. Let's do a different let's do a different one. Laura's cheating. Let's do a different well, one. Let's see what everybody else says. Okay. Um a pitchfork, a bull, everything, sweaty overalls, an axe, a plow, stained overalls. His shirt was epic. I know, right? Tractor, because it's sexy. <laughs> Let's see. A pick. Fertilizer. <laughs> or a BMO. So I'm not going to say that out loud. <laughs> Big, heavy boots. Y'all are funny. Red pickup truck. All right, let's, let's okay. Let's try this one. Laura's cheating, so she wanted to well, do another one. Yeah. So the next one's kind of saucy. 
Saucy. Everybody's kind of in a saucy kind of mood. Yeah, yeah. apparently. Laura Bemos. So, what is a scary thing in a bedroom? Okay. <laughs> Michelle says we skipped her answer. Oh. I'm not doing that on purpose, guys. They, they kind of, like, shift on me. I'm trying to find it. I'm going to keep this up for a second. The farmer? Was that your answer? <laughs> Manly thing on the <laughs> farm. The farmer. <laughs> okay, did you write your answer? Scary thing in the bedroom? Was it in the bedroom? Yeah. Somebody's going to say something saucy. <laughs> oh, gosh. I can't read some of these out loud. <laughs> Okay. I'm going to say under the bed in the dark. <laughs> Aren't you cute? <laughs> I'm going to say 25-year-old stuffed animals. Do you have 25-year-old stuffed animals in your bedroom? I don't. But I think that would be scary to find. <laughs> Act like I'm accusing you of something. <laughs> yeah, I agree. That, that's a very specific number. 25 years old. That's how old Vinny is. Great. <laughs> okay. Oh, I can't. I can't read some of this. <laughs> okay. I agree. Thanks. <laughs> Thanks for that, Vinny. The floor is lava. My husband, LOL, handcuffs. You guys are some saucy people. <laughs> My husband's entire side of the bed. <laughs> Under the bed. Thanks, Aaron. The spider. Connie Connie, my husband. <laughs> My dad isn't bothered by that either. We watched a lot of movies. I, I hope up. you guys can hear Nikki and my daughters my, over there laughing. Laura's daughters are over there cracking <laughs> up. Snoring husband. Anything with the lights on. <laughs> like I would know. <laughs> oh, you Keep guys. going. You guys. Oh, somebody said that laugh in the distance makes me laugh. <laughs> It's Nikki over here laughing, and, and Laura's daughters are cracking up. Whatever's under the bed, I agree. Four-poster bed with ropes. I just peed my pants. That swing. You guys are so much fun. A creepy doll in the corner. Oh, man, I agree. Mm -hmm. I can't handle that. Drunk husband. Amount of dirty laundry I have. <laughs> I'm not gonna read that out loud. We're making her blush. <laughs> My face is already red yep. because I'm drinking. <laughs> I'm not. I'm not very easy to embarrass. You are though. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not. Not gonna. <laughs> Michelle tried to embarrass me earlier today. Michelle's fun. Yeah, she sent me something at work. And she said, I hope that you're really embarrassed when you see this at work and you have to just like stick your phone back in your purse. <laughs> Michelle's so much fun. Okay, guys, so that's going to do it. I think we've been on for almost an hour and a half. That's usually, that's longer than what we usually do. <laughs> it's too much fun. I'm be <laughs> acting innocent after she followed me today with all those pictures on that wall. What pictures are you Very talking about? Bad. I don't know what she's talking about. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what you're talking about. You can't take it. I don't know what she's talking about. You're going to have to tell me what you're talking about because now I'm curious. <laughs> Somebody said, this is so much fun. I love you guys. You guys are so much fun. This is so much fun. I'm, I'm going to wait just a minute. I'm going to let Michelle answer me because I don't know what she's talking about. First time catching live. <laughs> well, Nancy, we're so happy that you're here. Yay, Nancy. Well, everybody drink to Nancy. Cheers, Nancy. Oh, I think she's talking about my drawings. My drawings in that middle bedroom. I was showing her. I was cleaning out my junk room today with all oh. my, my stuff. I drew those. I drew those in college. Those were mm -hmm. some of... I was an art major. So those were some of my drawings that I did in college. So maybe that's what she's talking about. Sure, we'll go with that. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so do you have anything that you want to say before we say goodbye? If you guys have noticed that the uh, 
Paint by Numbers is nowhere around. It's going to make its uh, final debut when it's finished. Yes. I decided to... Uh, Laura took it home. Get serious. <laughs> Laura came and got it, and she took it home with her, so she's going to finish it. Oh, let's shout out our friend Michelle at Comfy Cozy Living. Guess what? what? She hit 500 subscribers 500. Today. You know what's going to happen? What? She's going to beat us to 1,000. I hope she does. I know. That's what's going to happen. That would be great. We've been trying to get to 1,000, and she's going to beat us. That'd be fun. That'd be fantastic. <laughs> I love it. It's not a competition. It's a big family. I know. Right? That's right. It's real good. That'd be great. <laughs> okay, guys. So I guess we're going to sign off here. Thank you guys all so much for joining us. Thank you for indulging in our debut of Fat Bird 5. Plus a bonus elephant. Plus one bonus <laughs> elephant item. We will be back next week, same time, same place, and we will have five more items. I don't know if we'll have a bonus elephant item or not. <laughs> but we will do what we can. That's right. Isn't that right? That's right. And I don't know. We'll just follow suit with the Christmas thing. We'll play that by ear and see if we're going to do Christmas or not. Exactly. And next week, I guess we'll open the jewelry. Leave it in the comments if you want us to open the jewelry next week. I don't want to bore you guys if you don't want to see the jewelry. <laughs> yeah, come back after this video is posted. Leave us a comment and let us know. All right. So be sure and leave us a like if you haven't liked this video already. Uh, leave us a comment after this video posts. Let us know what you want to see next week. Subscribe to our channel if you have not already, and be sure to stay tuned to see what Fat Bird finds next. See you next time, guys. Good night, everybody.